So in this video, we're going to look at how we can create an assignment. So I'm in my teacher classroom at the moment. So what I need to do is go into classwork. And then this is where I'm going to create the assignment. But before I do that, what I want to do is I want the children to have their own document within Google that they can edit themselves. So I'm going to go and create the template first. So let's open up a new tab and then go to Google Drive over by the Rubik's Cube here and click Drive. That's going to open up Google Drive and you can see here this is a new account so I've got very little in my Google Drive at the moment but I have got a classroom folder. This classroom folder we'll come back to later because this is created once you join Google Classroom. So I can list this or I can show it as icons by clicking on this button in the corner here will take me to either list or icon view. So I like to have it on list view. Now I'm going to create a folder. Now I can do this by right clicking and doing new folder or I can go up to new and click folder. And I'm going to call this Google Classroom Resources because this is where I'm going to put all my resources and my templates for that Google Classroom. So let's create that. And then in this folder, by double clicking, now I'm in that folder, I can create another folder and I'm going to call this, let's say, year four. Create. Now you can create other folders in here if you want, but I'm just going to leave it at that level at the moment. Now let's create new. I'm going to create a Google document. Now I could do a spreadsheet, a Google Slides, I could even go and do Google Drawings if I want to or Maps. But I'm going to do Google Documents and open this Google document. Now let's give this a name. Okay, so this is going to be a creative writing assignment. So I could, if I wanted to, just leave that blank and then hand that out to the students and then they can create their own. But what I want to do is I want to create a bit of a template here. So I'm going to add an image. I'm going to go to search the web and I'm going to choose this image here and insert. Now what I want the children to do, write a creative story based on this image. So I'll leave the cursor there and then that's all done. So what I can do now is close this down. So let's go back to my Google Classroom and I'm going to create a new assignment. Now, here I can put my title of my assignment. So this is a creative writing assignment. So let's put creative writing and then I can put my instructions. So this might be, so there's my assignment. Now what I can do, I can set a due date. So let's select a due date. This has, be, has to be in by Friday and we can select a, a time here. So it needs to be 3, um, 3 p.m. on Friday. So there's our time. We can choose a topic. All right, so this is going to be our creative writing topic. So let's call this creative writing. And then what we need to do is we need to add our assignment. So let's click on the Google Drive part here. And then choose in our recents folder that particular assignment. So let's add that. Now over here, this is the important part, because at the moment, if students open this, they can only view the document. If we click this drop down menu, students, if we click choose this one, students can then edit it. So if you've got a whole class of students, then they'll all be editing the same document if you choose this item. The one we want to choose for this particular assignment is so all the students get their own copy. So let's choose that. Now, before we assign, let's go up to the top. I have two year four classes. So let's go to our as classes at the top here. And now we can choose all the classes that we want this assignment to go to. So this is really useful if you've got more than a one form entry school. So if you've got four form entry, all four of your teachers are going to do the same project and the same assignment, so you can assign that to all four classes, as long as all of those teachers have got access to all four classes. That saves a lot of time. Now, I'm just going to take this off for a second, because I want to show you students. 
On student, I haven't got any students in my classroom, but if you wanted to assign different assignments to different sets of students, this is where you would do it. So you would untick all the students and just select the students that you need to do the specific assignment. So this is fantastic for differentiation. Now you can't do that if you're choosing more than one class because it won't list all the students from every single class. You can only do that if you are doing it from one class. So I'm going to send this to two classes. I'm going to send it to all students in all classes. And then over here under the assign, I can click the drop down menu and I have a, can I ever schedule it? Now I can only schedule if I'm sending it to my own class or I can save it as a draft and come back later or I can assign. Now once I've assigned it, then I can't edit this section here. Okay, so be sure that you are assigning and you've got all the things that you need in your assignment. So let's assign that. So there we have it. This assignment is now in your Google Classroom and when your students log into Google Classroom, they will see that assignment. They will also see it in their stream as a new assignment within the stream. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how this looks as a student and then there will be a video that will show you how you as a teacher can see the learning that the students have done in Google Classroom and then provide feedback and marking when necessary. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.